I'd actually learn to weld chromoly. You ever go jump to weld that shit? You don't do second passes on chromoly. Yeah. No. And in your fucking the, the, the rod, the filler rod, every time you stop, you gotta fucking cut the end of that filler rod off because it oxidizes the end. And the moment you start with it again, it fucking <clears throat> jacks the weld up. Well. That's handy. Oh yeah. The knurled grab handles, the oh shit bars. Remember this? Yeah. It sat forever on the oh, concrete yeah. for five years. It's got it dialed now. Oh, it's Bolt a great, it in. great car lift, dude. And just let it down on the fucking stop and let him walk underneath it. Okay. Yeah, it's... Wow. A lot of work, man. Ford, Ford almost wanted you to do this. I mean, they... They left it so easy. These side panels, once I got all the floorboard all separated from it, side panels are totally square. And then the firewall, the cutout on the firewall is totally square also. So you can... Yeah. It, it was super easy to get in here. And now I just got to get the body all... Yeah, dude. ...refuculated. Yeah, they did totally make that square, huh? Dude, the, I love how everything's straight and square. Oh yeah, it's totally, totally motorcycle central around here. Yeah, it's totally. I'm, I'm the, I'm the one old guy that's like fucking rooting them on instead of you little bastard making all that. No stuff. doubt. You need air. <laughs> Somebody got a bike. It's a quad and a KX. They ain't looking at us. Uh -uh. <laughs> the old, we didn't see a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your neighbors? I don't know. Yeah, but that's a uh, that is basically the the beginning. Yep. Man. I bent all that tubing too. Did all that myself. That yeah, bender over there. What's that? What that? that that fucking old piece of shit hand bender over there. Nice. Look how close it fucking hugs the inside that's nice dude and when you lower it down and it's setting you know in the in the stance that it's going to set you can't even see all this upper tubing hardly except for the handles you can see those yeah i, I noticed that it is kind of it's He's it's in there hidden angle, pretty good same angle as the pillar yeah same angle as the pillar uh-huh yep this looks good man yeah so some angles you can't even see the roll the roll bar you can see the shit in the back window there that's that's but I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, uh, tent the whole back. Uh, and you need that though. Looks it's weird to see that orchard back there all leveled out, man. I know. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fucking dust storm this summer. But they're not gonna plant nothing there. They're not gonna oh, put new trees. They're gonna plant. But they're just little ones right now, regrowing. Yeah. Yeah. No plant. Hmm. Yeah. That's crazy that it's just weird to see that land all the way over there. Well, dude, I can see the mountains. Can you see the mountains over there? Yeah. I've never been able to see it like that before. It's perspective, I guess. Wow. Yeah, it's you used to not be able to see the mountains. That's the best part. Yeah. And you see the snowy peaks like in the, in the when the sun comes up in the, in the, in the morning you can totally see over there. It's motorcycle. Central. Another dude, yeah. It's, it's motorcycle central out here, dude. I love it. <laughs> Wish I could take advantage of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this shit though. This is where I'll spend my time on. Yeah, dude. The six thirty two is gonna be in there. It's got a J six thirty two. 14, 14 and three quarter to one compression. Oh damn! And one kit, real simple. Damn! <laughs> it shifts at seventy seven hundred RPM. Motor's good to eighty five. That's crazy. I know it's psycho. Huh? How big are those pistons? Uh, they're uh, four and five eighths. Wow! Yeah, they're huge, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's actually the best way to make power. The bigger the piston you can put in a fucking motor is the best way to make power. Wow. If you're dealing with just a normally aspirated motor, surface area on a piston is what you're looking for. Stroke is secondary. All right. But you do want to. You do want a long rod. If you can get a long rod in a motor, you'll you'll survive to a lot of RPM. But you know you know what? Let's see, see this right here. Yeah. The Falcon. Yeah. Guess what its kind of name is? The Attack Falcon. Attack the Falcon. Attack Falcon. Doug Doug will like that dirty old. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kaka. It's gonna be the Attack Falcon. Too. <laughs> Nobody will even know the, the inside joke on that. And now, what year is this based off of then? 61 Ford Falcon. 61 Ford Falcon two door. Yep. 2,200 pounds stock. L little light car, huh? Yeah. Wow. She'd still be about 2,200 pounds that big old big block. Wow. 2,200 pounds. <laughs> now you're going to have all the tire tucked underneath the back, yeah? 18 inch. 18 inches by 33 inch tall. Dang. Yeah, as the steamrollers. But I'm, I'm actually going to hang the four link suspension on it to where I can put a, uh, it's a four and a half, or I'm sorry, a ten and a half inch wide, 29 inch tall tire on there so I can run small tire. Okay. Uh, street. It's the no prep street crap. I want to be, be able to do small tire and big tire. This roof here is. Oh, yeah, that how many years have you been sitting in the sun now? You oh, got. Dude. This is that, great. That thing, I did that, and we, did, we put this up in, in a week. Made the whole kit, made made all the, the rafters and shit, had all that stuff prefabbed, bought all the sheet metal, I bought these, uh, beat, bought these girders there, basically pre-cut, had everything prefabbed, and then just slapped it up real quick in one week. Wow. It's all bolted up, huh? Oh, yeah, everything's bolted together. You can totally take this apart. Had to have that shade, man. I was fucking dying out here. Shade, yeah, this is not going anywhere. Nah, I've, I've already been in, it's already been 45, 45 mile an hour probably. Not 50 yet. But it's been in 45 mile an hour winds. It doesn't even move. I would say not. Nah, these things are in, this, this concrete is fucking 12, 12 inches thick in some spots. And those those are fucking almost one inch, one inch uh, uh, redheads are seven eighths. But they're nine inches long. Oh, t <laughs> you mean it's nine inches deep <laughs> in there? Nine inches deep in oh my truck. god! Every one of them. Is nine wow. What's well, a big wing? Look, dude. It's a big yeah, wing. you need that. That's you need a, it. It's a fucking airplane. Yeah. <laughs> Good so, yeah. shade though, dude, for sure. Oh, it saved my life, dude. I was dying out here. I trying to, you know, work on stuff, especially this. You know, I've been. Four years on that El Camino out here. That's I worked in that spot right there. Yeah. Sun. Oh my God. Yeah, I remember. Horrible. Yeah, you can, you were out here. You seen the yeah. whole. Yeah. I on watched your channel, it. That, that fucking that whole suspension and crap I did. Yeah. That crappy suspension. <laughs> my first attempt. Overbuilt. It was overbuilt. It worked though. It worked. It did what it was supposed to do. And I didn't know that what it was supposed to do was wrong, but at least you know it did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> That's before I'd ever heard anything about it's the center. I didn't make shit about that stuff. So, I don't even think about it either. Why? Well, I, <clears throat> I don't want to sit here and say I know all about it, but I've seen enough on the internet, and uh, I got it. I've already done it a couple times. The El Camino, I got it launching really good. It's a uh, yeah. The incident center is the big deal, man. That's that's if you can get that all figured out and. You know, and get it figured out where if you want the, you know, the, if you want the center of gravity and, you know, before it and, or, you know, behind it or, you know, depending on where you want the, you know, the center of gravity of the car, you know, and the Z-axis and, and where you want that, you know, that, that's, it's basically like running with a big stick. If you got a really big long stick and you run, the stick fucking goes back. Yeah. And if you're instant center, you know, that's, 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 you, know, you got to set way high instant center set down low and you're carrying a short stick and you take off that's that's you know the stick don't go back very far and that's what makes the tire spin is the short stick is tire spin like a motherfucker the tall stick is fucking sticking and the whole front end coming up and you want to find that one spot right the sweet the spot right where you just carry the tires for about 60 feet and she sets back down and you want to do that on the street which is fucking like insane hard to do mm-hmm 
because every spot's different. The, the pavement that you're running on is different. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, is it true that they run grape juice on some of the places where they do these races at? Well, grape juice used to be av gas. Is that what you're talking about? Somebody said they use, like, grape soda. Grape soda and put oh, it on the these ground. fucking guys with their Dr. Pepper and all that stupid shit. You want is that real? It, nah, dude. If you want like, to run, if you want to run, what you're trying to do, and you're trying to run something like MEK or, or uh, acetone, uh, if you can run those two, with whatever tire tire compound that you, they buy, like PJ1 or whatever, if you run acetone and MEK, methyl ketone, if you run one of those two with that, uh-huh. that breaks the tire down and makes the rubber more sticky. So basically, when you put that shit on the ground, if you're doing it right you're melting the whole top surface of the tire and then you're laying it down on the street and then you fucking also the tire that comes back and fucking gets back in the sticky stuff has still got some of that shit on it it just makes it fucking launch real hard and fucking grab grab and go yeah okay the the concrete out here is this asphalt crap Hmm. nothing wants to stick to that it's a bunch of rocks you gotta lay a bunch of rubber down on it to be able to stick so you do that before you do a run on the street then if you don't have that solution that you're saying. Yeah, well, depending on where you're going to be going, you know, sometimes people have already put a bunch of rubber down and you don't have to do so much. But if you're on, like, a virgin road, you know, it's like asphalt, then, you know, you got to sacrifice some tire. To, to, you know, I have some injectors there on the back to secrete that shit. You know, I thought about that. <laughs> I thought about that. But they can, they can tell. If you're, like, in a no-prep deal, you know, they can tell. They yeah, can I see that shit, yeah. But it's still a good idea. And I want to have a backup camera, too, so I can get right... Well, I don't need nobody backing me up. I can get right back in my sticky sticky spot. And people haven't done that yet? I'm sure there's people doing it. Dude, yeah. I'm pretty sure... I, I, that Kai Kelly guy's got a light bar on the back of his car. Oh, nice. So... Well, I suspect that the light bar is there so that he can see, see. the burnout mark with, with his backup camera. Oh, sure. I mean, he, he ain't stupid. And that shit's light. You can put that in there and not sacrifice any weight, you know. Yeah, and I would definitely, yeah, it, that's a definite benefit to be able to see and shit, especially if you're doing it at night, typically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this thing here, the reason I wanted to do small tire and big tire on it, try to get the instant center right so that I could kind of, you know, go back and forth and have and still get my instant center correct uh, is because of, you know, like going out to these virgin roads, you know, if you got a virgin road, I'm going to run the big tires. And if you got a road that's got a lot of fucking, you know, rubber down, then you'll switch it out to the small tires because the small tire is faster. You can put it on the fucking street, you know, put the power down, the small tire will be the big tire. Really? Yeah, because you ain't got all that fucking, all that shit to get spinning. The mass. The mass. You know, yeah, to okay. And if a small tire will hook up, you'll smoke more. Okay. And that's, that's so tire cool. size is, isn't always that important. It can be, uh, no. It can a, be a disadvantage. A shit, it can be, yeah. Depending on the surface you're racing on. If, you, if there's a shitload of rubber on the ground, fucking run small tire. Okay. Do two burnouts. Do a burnout, and then when you stop doing the burnout up there, stop, fucking throw some more shit on the ground. Do a burnout out there too, so that you got first and second with rubber on the ground. Okay. Don't tell the bike. Don't see it. All right on. So where's the motor at now? Uh, I, I've got the I've got the 573 here, but that's not going in until later. I gotta I gotta stick with the 632 and be small for right now. Dude. <laughs> 573 is getting a supercharger on it. That's 2,000 horsepower. That's a big difference. The the 632 is, is 1,200, just normally aspirated. And then the nitrous, you know, go 300 shots on that, too. Damn. You, you, need, you need to be quick enough to use that. Oh, for sure, on, yeah. On the street, if you got 1,200 horsepower at the crank, which is probably more like 1,050 at the rear wheel, it's a lot for the street to hook up. And that seems to be quite a short <coughs> wheelbase, too. No, right? dude, it's long. That motherfucker's long. It's actually, uh, you know the Burt Reynolds Trans Am? Yeah. It's the same exact wheelbase as the Burt Reynolds Trans Am. Okay, that's well, a that's, long car. that is a long car. Well, this motherfucker here, it's a 100 and, uh, 109 inch wheelbase, I think it is. 109 or 108. We did it with a tape measure. I went from center to center on it as best as you could on the back. 
The, but the, the new wheelbase is actually going to be uh, 112 on this car. I extended the wheelbase. Okay. Because it needs it. It's a, a little further d d for what? Well, I got a 30 Better hook up? Well, it's got a 33 inch tall tire going in there as opposed to a 25 inch tall tire that it had. Oh, yeah, you're going to need the room, and so you can only go back. Yeah. But if you look, if you look at the back hoop, the drive, there's no longer a rear seat in that car. Mm hmm. The driver sits in the back seat, basically. What? So I'm sitting on the back wheel. Well, you want to be sitting on the back wheel so that the car starts getting sideways or any weird shit starts happening. You feel it right away as the driver. That's if you're sitting forward of the back wheels a lot. You won't feel it as much. Yeah, you should get sideways on you before you know it. Huh? If you set your ass on the back wheel, you'll feel every bit. So you be sitting on the back, like steering yeah. wheel further back. Yeah, the steering wheel. Would, Would you be putting the engine further back too? Yes. Yeah, the engine, will, engine goes back almost 12 inches. 12 inches? Yeah. It's got a hook up on the street. It's it's a, it's asphalt. This car is not a track car. Right. It has to hook up on the street. So it, it has to, you have to make the stick really long on this car. Mm-hmm. You're inches. right, what you were explaining. You got to make it really long. Shit, that's like, uh, what's it? All you need is a big old shifter with the eight ball on, you know? You big know tall. It's got two fucking gears. So oh first, yeah, and then one gear change in your first and oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> first and oh fuck. Yeah, that's exactly a good way yeah. to put it. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, when you go for a ride this car, you're gonna go oh fuck. This ain't nothing <laughs> you ain't never rode in before, bro. This is yeah, I, I've never rode in anything like this. I've rode in an 800 horsepower, I honestly got 800 horsepower car to the crank, not to the fucking rear wheels. It was a '72 Camaro or some crazy shit. It's out in Texas. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be interesting for sure. 12 inches back yeah. from the usual placement of the it motor. It has the possibility of going that far back, yes. The old the old firewall was here. Yeah. Now, now the new firewall is here. Okay. This is where the firewall is. Wow. Yeah, you're going to have to. I get it. I get it. Totally. That makes. It's going to be a cutout. It's gonna, I got to do a lot of work still on the body. I had to get the chassis in here. Now I got to get the motor transmission and rear end and get the instant center all figured out. As soon as that's all done, I'm going to pull all that shit back out and then we're going to do all the body work and get the body all refuculated. I'm actually going to, we're going to do a deal here that this whole front end tilts mm. and then you can also pull it off. It'll be a pin you pull cool. out. Cool, yeah, access. If you want to pull the whole front end off. The heck yeah. Have a plug for the lights. There'll be lights. It's going to be all functional. There'll be lights, blinkers. It's going to be a street car. I'm going to try to make it. Nice. As much like a street car as I can. It ain't a street car, but it's... And it's going to have a little more robust front suspension. I'm going to make sure that when we get it up in the air and it comes back down, it comes back down and can take it. You know, I don't want to fucking be breaking suspension. It's got a, uh, it's got a uh, uh, dry sump oil system coming on it so the oil pan's hella, hella short oh, okay there you go so so we should be able to keep the oil pan off the ground if it comes down hard and then i'm going to put <clears throat> i'm going to put off-road struts on this motherfucker instead of regular struts with big fucking i want i want the progressive springs if i can find them i'm going to try to get the you know it's got the, the small spring the medium spring and then the fucking hard spring so that you know you should get dave out here to I need, I need to talk to Dave. That's why I keep telling you to bring Dave, because I, Dave is a plethora of information. And he He's done. To, it's crazy, man. That guy, what was it? One of his employees wrecked this old Toyota he's had. for. It's an 84 Toyota. There's that motorcycle. Air conditioning. I need you to get that running for me. Yeah. Fix it. Got yeah. smashed on the driver's or the passenger side. Yeah. week later, he what says, I it? fixed it. It's an 84 Toyota with... Oh, okay. AC, it's got 300-something thousand, put a new motor in it, rebuilt it. It's just crazy. This guy can fix shit, like, anything, you know. Oh, it's no, smashed. He's very resourceful. He's, I, a lot of times there's certain, well, he's got tools, though, Brian. He's got things you can do to fix problems. And, you know, I'm, using, I'm thinking about using sticks. And this guy, oh, I got a press right here. Boom, popped a, popping no, bearings off is nothing for him. See him as a kindred soul. He's I feel like he's another one of you know, basically another person like me. You know, he he can fix anything. He can. You're the same. You're the same. Smart guy. Too, man. No. That right there, that's gonna be a whole other fucking thing we can do a thing on. 
I'm going to put that in a one person part, but I got a suspension on one of them. This motor is just, I just want to have this motor in the cart mm -hmm. that I'm going to build. The suspension is going to be the star on the cart, not the motor, but I want this motor in there to. It's, okay. It's got compression, it runs. I mean, I know it runs because the only thing it didn't have was spark, and it had plenty of compression, it, and it turned over just fine, sounded perfect. You know what I'd like to do is build a motor stand where you could bolt the motor to the st to the let's, stand and then wheel it around if you had to. You know what I mean? Let's build you one that's that's universal. Yeah, you. like a universal motor stand. I will absolutely do that if you'll get this all run and killed. Mm -hmm. Sure can. I got faith in you. I know you can. If you can do that, dude, I would appreciate it. Cause I'm gonna build that cart. Uh, for after this thing gets done, I'm doing Shane's El Camino, and then after Shane's El Camino, I'm gonna start on this cart. Okay, well, let's uh, get this thing out of the Oh, it is kind of out yeah, of the it's elements. A, it, it still gets a little bit of... Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll pull it out of there, though. It's it's only been here for, like, about a month. Okay. It was, it's, it's been out of the rain. It hasn't got rained on it at all. My other car parts are getting rained on. Man. <clears throat> I tell you what, man. This was... This, that crib was a fucking getting all this figured out man that was a motherfucker dude good welds hey, they're all right they're middle of the road mike's oh. gonna see this oh he'll laugh he'll think i'm the worst guy. lame no. No. i'll tell you right now he'll do a better well i won't argue that no those are good they're all they're right really good they're burning too much i mean they're still they'll still pass. they'll hold right yeah, yeah i'm they'll, sure they'll pass they're still rainbowy but they're burning too too hot. I should have had like a gas lens. Hmm. Ironically, a smaller tungsten would made it worse. So I went to another a little bit bigger tungsten. And it, I thought it just the new dog. It got the job done quicker, and I was able to not dwell on it as much. What? What are you doing, tough what? dog? What? The Hachi Shuffle. What, right? Hachi? That's the Hachi what? Shuffle. What? Hachi <laughs> Shuffle. She's so funny. What are you doing? What? What? Watch it. Oh. Oh, here's the killer. Here's Grandpa. Mm-hmm. I bet the other one... With his only there. defense, his cauliflower ear. Yeah. Stanky. It's his superpower. It's not a defense. <laughs> That's a superpower, man. Ain't that right, Diesel? Huh? <laughs> you guess. Slobber all over. You looking at my ear? We need another snort. Yeah. Oh man, that thing looks beefy right now though. Does and it? His. Oh. It's yeah. like his ear looks like a backward sock. You know, you just kind of pull it halfway out, mm. throw it in the laundry basket. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's the classic boxer cauliflower. Oh yeah, yeah. Punchy, there it is. You know, <laughs> Sold that. Got that. Got that out of here. So this thing? Yeah, I basically I paid five G's for that one and that one, and I sold that one for four G's. So I basically only paid a thousand dollars for that one. Wow. Man, if I knew how to use a lathe more. This was this this was the buy. That was, I huh? Got that for four G's. Look at this one. That thing's a beast, dude. You can stick your hand. Yeah. Why that's a badass fucking lead. I got a seal I gotta replace so it'll hold oil, but yeah, she's a beast, man. <laughs> that's like making turrets. Oh you could you can make some shit on that thing. That's you fucking can build some big shit on that. You can swing a twenty two inch piece of metal on that thing. Shit. That's a beast. And what'd you get this for? Four grand. Four grand, wow. I had to do a bunch of wiring, and I got this guy that's really good on that shit. He's going to come back out and help me finish up the back of the wiring on it because it had a bunch of old porcelain fuses and shit in there that needed to be changed out and upgraded. So got everything working on it, and it's been working. I just have to, like I said, change the seal. I haven't had time on that. Been building, building fucking roll bar parts, coping. Coping everything on that. Mode. 
That's pretty much it, man. Yeah. This is the Grand Central where everything happens. Yeah, this is the place. Look at all this tooling is in order. Look at this. This guy's ready. You guys need machining done? Just pay him a lot of money and he'll stop doing what he's doing and he'll do your stuff. That's right. It takes a lot of money to make you stop. <laughs> but he's got the equipment, I'll tell you. You have to be organized or else you can't find anything. That's funny. Dirty wouldn't like me doing this. He'd be like, get me. Yeah. This is where you get your shit done, dude. You make, his, you make things. You make things better, right? Sometimes you don't make things, you make things better. We definitely Upgrading were, from that and speed lost, up. We're a lost art, man. Yeah, look at this. Let's make this parts to replace a beat up part. Yeah. I made a new one. This guy. It's, you know, it's a lost art. It's, nobody does this shit anymore. No. China, China does it. Yep. Can't send this stuff to China. It is a lot of art. It's, it's it's awesome because you're 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 shaping metal, you know. Yeah, you just you're, you're coming up with something in your mind and you're making it happen in reality. You know, it's it's like molding reality. This is the Play-Doh of reality. You know, if you want to mold something into into existence, this is where you do it. You know, they they wanted that, so we're making it, and we're molding it into existence. You know. Yeah, that thing is beat up. Oh, that thing's awesome. ancient. It's all cast too, so you can't weld it. So the hammer in it to move it and get it. Yeah, to get it oriented. So just boom, boom. <laughs> you see all the hammer marks. Look at all yeah, the they marks. beat it into submission. It's, it's separating from the plate. Years of being just hammered. Yeah, it, it was jacked. <laughs> what the heck they hit it with? Sledgehammer? Yeah, yeah, probably. Hey, just a big, big fucking hammer. Is that a sledgehammer? We're, we're, we're making it to where it's like a buck chuck, to where you just you just take these adjustment screws and get it to where it's running. Right. You totally can, instead of having to use a freaking sledgehammer. Yeah. You get that, it, that sounds logical. You can get it concentric off the screws, uh, screws instead of a hammer. Sure. <laughs> sounds logical. It matters, man. Huh? <laughs> it's the details. It's finer yeah. details. So you don't want to hammer on things, you know, when you're machining. Especially when you're machining. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably get caught once or twice doing it, but yeah. <laughs> hey, we need to drink some more whiskey first. Okay, let's drink some more whiskey. Ooh. Oh, I almost want to get so some more ice. Finish yours. You get want some, me to get some more, more ice, ice, Julian? Finish your, oh, you're going to have to hurt yourself finishing yours. All right, I'll finish mine, too. There was a little bit left in there. <laughs> All right, I'll go get us a couple more fucking cubes. All right. <laughs> you be all right. You be all right, Ricky. <laughs> Break time, guys, from filming. Break time from filming. Hi, how was it? Oh, my glasses almost fell out. Whoa. Cut. <laughs>